All right, guys, what is going on, my good people? I want to talk to you guys real quick, man, real quick, man, about banks, about banks. You know, I want, I want to break this thing down for you guys so that you guys can understand a little bit more about the banking institution and how it affects you. All right. I want you guys to be more informed about banks, about bank, the banking system. OK, a couple things to note real quick. All right. When we talk about the Federal Reserve, a couple of things I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the Federal Reserve. I'm going to talk about the Treasury. And then I'm going to talk about commercial banks. Commercial banks are Bank of America, Wells Fargo, places like that. All right. So banking. All right. I want to talk to you about banking. All right. Now, when it comes to banking and, 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 and when I give you this lesson, I want you to see the. All right. Let me back up. Sorry. I'm teaching you guys or well, I want to talk to you guys about banking because this is how I learn about wealth building. This is how I learn about how to create money, um, how to produce money, how to create assets, how to flip assets, how to make money. Right. And it derives from systems that are derived from principles. It, de it derives from fundamentals. OK. Um, first, you have to understand the system that you're operating in and what country, right? You're dealing with the, in America, we, we have a capitalistic society. We, we live in a capitalist society, okay, where where you you are rewarded um, for, to be an entrepreneur, um, to have your own, your own business, right? You, 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 you are rewarded for that and the government takes care of you through taxation, right? That's why a lot of rich people don't pay taxes, all right? So um, banking system, okay, the banking system. The banking system works like this, all right? And again, I'm teach I want to show you guys about the banking system because this is how you learn about how wealth is created so that you can take principles and incorporate it into your own business, all right? Cool. I like finance, I like banks because of what it means in terms of it teaches you how to raise money, how to get money, right? How to use other people's money, right? Everybody uses other people's money. <laughs> Say it with me. Everybody use other people's money. That's how they create wealth. And if you don't use other people's money, you, my friend, don't have money. OK, so the way the banking system works is like this. You have the Federal Reserve. And you have the Treasury. Let's just start right there. And then you have the federal government. OK, now the Federal Reserve is not a um, it is not uh, controlled by Congress is not controlled by um, any other entity except for itself. Um, so when you hear about the central bank, that central bank is the Federal Reserve. Now, the Federal Reserve have important rules. OK, they, they, they have certain guidelines in terms of the, the Federal Reserve says this, that we control um, we control the money supply in the system. So we, we have the ability to, you know, liquidate not really liquidate, but we have we have the ability to um, add money into the economy. We have a way of, of, of taking it away, slowing down the pace of that creation of money. Um, so they have a lot of different make sure they, they want to make sure that uh, that 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 wage growth is supporting the, the amount of money that's in the, that's in the economy. Right. You can't have too much money in the economy, but you have people poor. So they try to make sure there's not a huge um, inequality. Uh, between uh, or, or wealth gap, if you will, um, in, in an economy. So so it's a lot of different things that the Federal Reserve do. But that's just one main thing that they make sure that uh, that they that they manage. They, they want to make sure that they manage the supply of money. Well, so um, you have the Federal Reserve, then you have the Treasury. OK, the Federal Reserve is not controlled by the Congress. OK, the Treasury, on the other hand, is a liaison between the Federal Reserve and Congress. All right. Then you have the Treasury in the middle. All right. So Congress, let's just say Congress goes and then you have commercial banks. I'm going to wait on commercial banks. So you have the Federal Reserve, um, yeah, the Congress that go and they say, let's vote on a package because we need to get some stimulus packages out there to the American people. We also want to get some money to some businesses. Right. Because we, we need them to create something, right? Whatever it is, we want to help them go to space like NASA, right? Or whatever the case, you know, they have various programs that they, that they want to fund the government, right? And we saw this a lot with COVID. That's why they printed $7 trillion or created $7 trillion. 
So the Congress goes and they make this vote and then they say, hey, let's do this. Right. Then they go to the Federal Reserve and say, hey, Federal Reserve, this is how much money we're, we're going to need. We need that amount of money in our economy. The Federal Reserve then comes and says that, um, OK, all right, we'll give it to you. But if we give it to you, we will loan it to you. Yes, the Federal Reserve loans the money to the federal government. OK. All right. And this is how they keep prices. That this is how they they try to manage the amount of money supply in the system. Because if the government knows that they are increasing their debt, okay, this is how we create our own debt. And a lot of times, it's good to borrow from our own debt. When we, when we borrow from the Federal Reserve, that's not a bad thing, a hundred percent, right? Because it's in our own currency. So when the Federal, so when the Congress say, "Hey, we need this amount of money," the Federal Reserve then says, "Okay, we're we're going to print this money, but just know we're going to lend it to you um, um, through a thing called discount rate." So when they do that, what they do is they say, "Okay, the discount rate is say you know point zero point two five percent, right?" And then I believe that's what it is today. So the federal, uh, so then the federal government says, okay, all right, please give us that money. We need it right now. We need to pump up our economy right now. We need to buy. We need to fix the railroads, bridges, and all that stuff, right? And then what they do is they then, um, they sometimes the Federal Reserve will print money, but it's not so much up to the Federal Reserve. Typically, they can create it just through digits on the computer, um, and then send it to now the commercial banks. All right. So the Treasury Department is the primary entity that's actually printing the money, but they print the money based off of when the Federal Reserve give that command to do so. So the Treasury Department prints the money. The Federal Reserve okays the transaction and can deny the transaction if they wanted to, because, again, they, they manage the money supply and make sure that we can we can foot the bill and make sure that we don't go bankrupt. We need a bit. We need someone there to protect the uh, money supply. You can't just have people in Congress and, hey, give us money, 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 money without someone that's making sure it can be done the right way. So Federal Reserve, they say, hey, we need some money. I mean, I'm sorry, the Congress say, hey, Federal Reserve, we need some money. The Federal Reserve says, OK, we'll give it to you. We can create the digits on our end and then send it over to the commercial banks. All right. So we can we can do it that way. But w w in terms of printing the money is going to come from the Treasury Department. So whenever you get your IRS check and things like that, you always see the Treasury Department because that's where the money that's where your money is really coming from. It's really coming from the Treasury Department. All right. Treasury Department is the one that manages the money um, in the government. So then you have commercial banking. Now, commercial banks are it's just a simple. It's just a um, you have a bank. Where in order to get the money into the economy, you need a an entity to do so, right? So if the government says, "Hey, we're we're going to give this amount of money to X, Y, Z," it's not going to just straight come from the government, like like the you like your like your tax return money from the Treasury Department. It's going to come from the banks. We saw a lot of that with the PPP loans and things of that nature. It came straight from your bank, right? It's easier to give it to a banking institution because you're already banking with them. Is in, in in terms of get, getting the money out in the market, it's just much easier. And the banks get the money, okay? Again, everybody's using everybody else's money, okay? No one's really doing any work, but everybody's using other people's money. Then, then what happens is when the money gets down to the banks, now the banks have the ultimate say-so in terms of how they want to lend that money out. So if there are certain projects the federal government want to, want to do, they can get the money from the Treasury Department. Now, you may say, how do the normal people get the money into the market? So when when you go out there as a business owner to go start up a business, you get the money from your commercial bank. So when you go to your Wells Fargo, Chase, or whatever the case may be, you say, "Hey, I want to get a business loan to start a business." All right? You say how much? They say how much you need? I need ten million dollars. And then they say, "Okay, we'll give you the ten million dollars." Okay, um, but we're going to charge you interest on that money. Okay, because we have to. We we are charged interest on that money as well. Now, the banks can get money two ways. They can get money from deposits, like when you go to the bank and deposit your check. They can get money there, but they can also get money from the discount window of the Federal Reserve. So they can go back to the Federal Reserve and say, hey, we need we, we want some more money. We need more money because we have to keep so many so much amount of reserves in our in our um, pocket. That's just one stop game. Now, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So they would go back and they would say, hey, Federal Reserve, we need more money. Or they can go and say, hey, we can use some of this deposit money from the normal people to make loans.